What's up everyone? Welcome to Seth Leroy Hustle Adventures. I'm here with my wife Sarah and it is a beautiful 30 degree weather day here in Minnesota and we're gonna get in the back of the van and go over some numbers with you. Let's get to it. Okay, so Seth wanted me here today to go over numbers with you guys. So I'm the numbers person behind this operation. So anytime he gets um, a load coming through, I quickly figure out, you know, if it's going to make sense or not and to go ahead with it or to deny it. Um, so every time we go out, we have a goal in mind of what number we need to get to. Our goal for this run, um, we were going to try to keep it to 7 to 10 days for this run to see how much we could make. So I was like, okay, let's try to make half half of the bills for the whole entire month so that when you come back you can pretty much take a week off um, and you can either like decide to take a run if you want or just stay home and chill and we can hang out or whatever but um so he was off for 10 days and our goal was to make three thousand and fifty dollars um, to be split up for two weeks to be bills, savings, taxes, insurance, and spending money. So I'll kind of go over um, what his whole run entailed. Um, so here we go. First run off the bat, so we, we were trying to hold out to see if we can get to Wisconsin or somewhere um, just to stay in the Midwest, um, but that didn't, I mean, we could have waited. We should have waited a little bit longer, but we just took, um, a run going to Colorado so it was for $1,150 um, and the profit we ended up making from that was $873 um, was that a direct yeah that was a direct run so it needed to be there pretty much as soon as possible so that was cool because it like was like $873 for a day and then I think he hung out there the next day until he finally got a run um, from Colorado out to, to Liberal Kansas um, that one was only for four hundred and twenty dollars and the profit he made from that was two hundred and thirty two dollars um, see doesn't out west they pay a little bit lower yeah yep Yep. The West and the South, they don't pay very good, and it's hard, it's harder to get out of certain places. So when you get get things for around where you're at, you kind of just want to take them to get to the next spot. Um, and that run actually took them to Ohio, which was cool. Um, Ohio is like a Midwest higher paying state, um, and by that time it was like around Friday yeah yeah by the time he got there and so I was like okay try to look for a run that's gonna um, take you over the weekend so you're not like um, sitting with yeah. anything too long and so you're gonna make more money to make up for being out over the weekend without really being able to like get anything because it's harder to get things on the weekends I was like please try to look for one to Texas so didn't you end up like sitting around for like a day or so and you actually I think it was on Saturday the next day he actually did find one going out to Texas um, and it was a hazmat load um, oh and okay the so the profit of the Kansas to Ohio one. Oh, sorry I should have told you so Kansas to Ohio anyway let's let's backtrack um, so that that run was seven hundred and sixty dollars and the profit from that was five hundred and thirty three dollars so that's pretty cool so anyway okay so we got to Ohio sat there for like a day um, waiting for runs to take him somewhere far away so he can make up for his time over the weekend uh, he wasn't getting anything in Columbus Ohio so he ended up driving halfway to Detroit to see if he could pick up something there um, but then his dispatcher called him and said, uh, yeah, I got a hazmat load and it's back in Columbus, Ohio. So he had to backtrack all the way back to um, Columbus, Ohio, 
which was deadheading um, from halfway to Detroit back to Columbus, Ohio, 317 miles. So that took from the profit of this Texas run. So the Texas run was for $1,180 and the profit was $860. Um, okay, so first of all, this hazmat load, it was direct and it was a hazmat load. It was over the weekend. I think, honestly, that it should have been a little bit more money. Yeah, I think he more. should have made a little bit more <clears throat> money. Um, knowing, too, that he was going to Texas, and Texas, like, is, first of all, really hard to get out of. Luckily, you know, he was going to Dallas, so it wasn't, like, deep into Texas or anything, and I heard Dallas is, like, the best place if you're looking to pick up runs um, to just get out because they have the most loads coming out. And the um, hazmat was over a thousand pounds, which I can do with my hazmat endorsement. Yeah. So we thought maybe could get more. Yeah, because they would have paid like a big truck. Yeah. Like probably double. Yeah. To triple, and you only got one thousand one hundred and eighty, and then to get out of Texas, they only pay like sixty cents per mile. They're cheap. They're cheap. So in the end, I think if. You know, next time, well, okay, so next time we are not going to Texas. We're going to try to fucking, we're going to try to avoid Texas like it's it's the plague because Texas really does suck. Um, so what happened when he got to Texas, so he got there by um, Monday morning, dropped off that load. Um, he sat all of Monday, sat all of Tuesday, sat all of Wednesday. There was nothing coming out. Um, and I'll backtrack a little bit. Okay, so there was one thing coming out on that Monday after he dropped off his load to Texas. Or, um, yeah, but his dispatcher told him, okay, it's going back to Minnesota, but it was only going to be for like $650 or something like that. And we were trying to be out a little bit longer, and our goal was to make... At that point, we had made everything but $550 of our goal. So we were like, oh my gosh, well, we could just wait for something else to come that will take us to somewhere like Tennessee or somewhere a little bit closer just to get out of Texas so that we could get a higher bid going back towards the Midwest. And I was like, okay, we're so far away from Minnesota. There's no way we're not going to make that extra $550. But Texas ended up being a nightmare, and that's what ultimately um, kind of squashed our goals a little bit. So like I said, he sat Monday, sat Tuesday, sat Wednesday, and then he decided um, somewhere in there to drive to Dallas. Dallas didn't work out. So then um, he decided to leave Texas. Uh, my birthday was on yep. Friday. So he was trying to get back for my birthday. Cause I thought for sure he'd back be back before then that wasn't happening and it was only like $300 to drive back to Minnesota so I was like okay well whatever I guess you know if you have to keep driving and find something along the way just try to get back towards home and um, so he drove to Oklahoma in, City in between Oklahoma City and Tulsa Oklahoma yeah, just and I waited to see, there a day. Just to see if there was somewhere in between. Like, so he could play both cities and see if something came up. And nothing came up. So then he drove to Kansas City. Um, nothing came out all day. So then he decided to um, go back and drive to... What was the next I was going to slow down in Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines. Des Moines. Des Moines. Iowa. So and he was just leaving. He was about a half hour to an hour out. And then his dispatcher called him and said, Yeah, I um, got something in Kansas City going to Haiti, South Dakota. So he turned around and he picked that, that up. And it was seriously a box like this big going from Kansas City to Haiti, South Dakota, and he got that load for $520. Um, so the profit on that ended up being like $204 because it took $300 to get back home 
from Texas, but anyway, I mean, it's better than just driving yeah. all the way home, wasting that 300 and falling like seriously short of our goal. Um, so in the end, we didn't make our goal. Um, we made $2,704.28. Basically, and like I said, our goal was three thousand and fifty dollars. So um, we we fell short by three hundred and fifty dollars. But this whole upcoming week today is Monday. We have things to do today, but he has from like tomorrow until Friday just to pick up another local run before he goes out for his next long haul again, where he's gonna make like the second half of our bills. Hopefully, uh, but we're gonna try to stay in the Midwest or go to the East Coast or whatever. Um, but hopefully, he can make up that three hundred and fifty dollars this week plus some, because um, that's basically our spending money. So, <clears throat> so in the end, let's see. I'm gonna do a breakdown of that that $2,704 um, that ended up being he drove for basically 97 cents per mile that whole run um, that so the bills portion of that was $1,378 um, he's saving we're putting $400 of that into savings we're gonna put $500 of that into taxes how we're doing our savings and our taxes is just, we're just leaving it all in our business account. And then at the end of the year, we're gonna see how much we need to pay in taxes. Um, we might have to dip into our savings a little bit, but we might not, we don't know because we have um, we have all of the, the write-offs and the deductions, you know, with like the gas mileage and the things we buy and all the food and everything like that. Um, and then two, he claims two kids on his taxes, and that ends up um, lowering his pay into taxes. So this year, um, it's gonna be more like a trial and error year for us. We're gonna see how much we end up paying out at the end of the year, and then maybe adjust it better next year. But if we have to dip into savings this year to pay for our taxes, we'll just, we'll see how that goes. Um, not too worried about that and then um so and then we put aside 250 dollars for insurance because that's around 470 a month so i will have 500 dollars sitting there for insurance and then that only left us with 176 dollars for spending for this whole week if we don't find another load quick little load this week or whatever um but I still had fifty dollars of spending money in there that that we didn't spend, and then we had some gas money for just our like household gas that we didn't use, you know. So we we actually have like two hundred and fifty bucks or something, and we don't we don't spend money if we don't have it, and we do a pretty good job of just finding free things to do or fun things to do. And it is winter here, so there's not really much to do, anyways. We have a couple gift cards from Christmas too. We're gonna take advantage of and uh, have fun that way, and you know. So whatever, we'll figure it out. It's it's no big deal to make three hundred and fifty less than what we wanted to, because I mean, we made two weeks worth of bills in like yeah. ten days or something. So we'll make it up. Not this month, the next month or whatever, but. We just say, you know, these first couple months or whatever, we're, it's kind of a trial and error thing for us. We have to learn the areas and what they have to offer. Like, we had no idea about Texas. Like, we had no idea. We never even want to go there again. And 60 cents per mile just isn't worth it for us. We live in the north. Things cost more money. Gas is more expensive up here. Our mortgage is more expensive up here. Like things are just more expensive, so we have no business even being in Texas unless they're gonna like, unless it's just an opportunity that we can't pass up. You know, then we'll go back there. But 
starting out next week i think we really just want to wait and see if we can get to like wisconsin yeah. or michigan or yeah. just somewhere else not out not out east not down south i mean wait no, not, not, not west. out west yeah, not down south we'll go out east we haven't been to like no nope. new jersey or anything yet like that'd be cool to see what they have to offer um but yeah we're just getting to know the areas and trial and error getting smart about it and hit the runs that you've done to like wisconsin and stuff been good they pay, paid yeah. so much like yeah. a lot more money so even if it takes us like a couple days to even get out we'll just kind of hold off and stay in the midwest because it's where everybody's trying to get to and we live here and we live here and that's why this week is local regional because every the money that we save that's extra out of all this stuff our goals that'd be uh van money save up for the next van yeah van money and spending money yep yeah like i said we're trying to save up five hundred dollars a month whether it be for to fix up this van or to buy a new van when this van doesn't do so well. So like hoping this van lasts like two years and then we have like $12,000 saved up for the next one. And obviously we'll have savings in our bank account if we need to throw in a little bit extra towards that. And then so that just so that we can always keep this business going because you really love this. Yeah, we really like it because like how I went for seven to ten days, then I come home and I'm home a week with local regional. So it feels like we get more time than when I was a slave as a truck driver. Yeah, he couldn't imagine ever going back to someone being his boss. No. Nope. So we got to put money aside so that we can either fix this van or get another one when it's all bust down and broken. But yeah takes a lot to keep your business going and your household going and you ha you really have to know where like all your money is going to you have to okay this is going here this is here this is here like you can't just spend all willy-nilly <laughs> oh my god you can't be you can't be willy-nilly you gotta be stuff well, I saw a guy on a one video say, and not to knock anyone's way, but the guy literally said, if you have good credit, you can start this business. And that sounds dangerous to me, but I don't know. Teach their own, but I wouldn't do that. <clears throat> Could you imagine if you got a van on loan and then all of a sudden it broke down and you still had to pay that van? Yeah, pay? yeah, it's like you're working, yeah. And then you never put money aside for like another vehicle. That same guy was saying he made 800 a week. So I don't even know how he... I don't even know how he would stay afloat. Sounds terrifying. But, yeah, anyway, I hope you were able to follow along with the numbers and stuff. Um, I had to write everything down because this is, you know, just what's all in my head. And I had to put it down on paper for you. And my head's a little scatterbrained, especially I got four kids running around. So these were all, like, notes in my phone and everything. So I hope you could follow along with it numbers and everything and it made sense to you but i mean if anything you got kind of a taste for what certain states paid yeah um but yeah anyway thanks for watching comment below if you have any questions <laughs>